violation of free speech by the West. Two more Iranian channels have been taken off the air. Arab satellite provider Gulfsat has bowed to pressure from the European satellite giant Utelsat to ban iFilm and Al Khothar. The two Iranian channels are broadcast under the coverage of Egyptian satellite communication firm Nilesat. Press TV has inquired into the possible reasons for banning the Iranian channels, but Utelsat's press officer has refused to comment on the move. Utelsat's Israeli French CEO has been stepping up his restrictive campaign against Press TV and other Iranian channels recently. Experts say the campaign has helped reveal the true face of Western countries that preach respect for human rights and free speech while practicing the opposite. Well, to discuss that a bit further, we're now joined by Mr. Danny Schechter, who is the editor of MediaChannel.org, who's joining us now via Skype from New York. Mr. Schechter, thanks a lot for joining us. Now, you know, certainly, you know, a lot of excuses have been put forth for why these Iranian channels are being taken off the air, uh, things such as sanctions, etc. But certainly this does seem like a, a well-oiled attack on the Iranian media, doesn't it? It does seem that way. In fact, uh, our new MediaChannel.org uh, has already covered this and will cover this some more. You have to realize that what we're talking about here is not just hypocrisy, but an, uh, an affirmative strategy to try to isolate Iran and to try to deny people in the world from hearing what Iran has to say, what people in Iran are thinking or offering analysis and what have you. It's part of a strategy called PM, not PM. PR, but PM, perception management. And the idea is to try to manage the perception uh, of other people by, you know, of uh, uh, manage the perception of the public so that they're not really aware of what Iran stands for, so that the analysis uh, put forth by powers hostile to Iran will be the only analysis that's out there. And other perspectives and other points of view won't be heard or won't be seen. And this is a, you know, a kind of a way that information war is fought. It's not a way, uh, it's not about uh, human rights. It's not about freedom of speech. It's about information warfare and the targeting of the Iranian channels uh, by denying their access, them having access to others, you know, in, in the world. You know, if, if people are watching press TV and they say to themselves, gee, that was interesting. I never heard that before. Uh, why don't we have coverage like that in our country? Uh, you know, if they think that way, they begin to critique and uh, distance themselves from the one point of view messaging that's coming out of not only the State Department and U.S. government, but uh, friendly governments, so-called friendly governments, allied governments in other countries. Clearly, this is being orchestrated. This is not just happening on its own dynamic. We just have under a minute left. So will this, will this perception, perception management uh, be successful, do you think, especially in this day and age of Internet, social media, etc.? Well, you know, it could be successful if Iran was only doing one thing. Uh, you know, Iran is using social media, too. Uh, and, you know, it's important to have voices heard in many different places. I'm an American. I, you know, I used to be seen quite a bit on press TV. I, you know, I think it's important to have other voices uh, offering perspectives there as well as in this country. And, you know, it's, it's very distressing to see channels being shut down, uh, you know, actually for covert reasons that are not really explained to the public at large. It does not help us understand each other better, and it does lead to more conflict and even possibly to war. All right, we'll have to leave it there for now. That was Mr. Danny Schechter, editor of MediaChannel.org, speaking to us live via Skype from New York. Sir, as always, we appreciate your insight.